If you've picked up one of these shiny new Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus, by now you would have set up your facial recognition and your emojis and all that good stuff. This is not what this video is about. <coughs> this video is about other tips and tricks every Galaxy Samsung owner should know, including a doorbell monitor and a baby monitor. Yes, all available on this phone. Hey, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Leron Sega, but every Tuesday we make technology simple with these tips and tricks. So if you're new here, take a quick second, hit that subscribe button right here. All right, let's get into today's Samsung Galaxy S9 tips and tricks. Right, the good old Edge. Now, if you swipe from the right, you'll be able to access certain applications that you access frequently. Click on Edit and you'll be able to add more applications, move them around. It's a nice little touch for those who use it. Now, this time, if you use the Edge, click on the little gear icon, and here's where you can add additional panels, so additional features that you can have instantly accessible to you. But here's where it gets really cool. Go to the top, and you see those you've got those three little dots? Click on those, and click on Edit Panel Handle. Now, go down to the bottom, click on Transparency, and set that to High. Now what that does, it actually hides the little irritating little bar on the side telling you that the edge is available. We know it's available, no reason to show it, and there it is. Right, let's set up the camera. So swipe down from the top, click on the gear icon, and instead of searching for the camera, just type the word camera. And the first option that comes up is gonna be quick launch camera. Now, this should be enabled by default, but if it isn't, switch it on. Now it's done. Now, from this point, anytime you want to snap a photo of anything, double tap the power button and there it is. Ta-da! You notice a performance mode icon under your quick settings? Click on that and when you do, you can actually change the performance of your phone depending on what you're doing. But you can either increase the brightness, change the screen resolution, you can actually optimize it for gaming or entertainment or leave it in optimized mode and let the device optimize itself. Quick settings are awesome, very quickly access certain features of the phone. Now even here you've got some customization. Click the three little dots, click on the button grid and you've got to choose how many icons you want to instantly see. Click OK. You can also rearrange the order. So click on the three little dots, click on the button order and now move things around that you use more often so it's easier for you to access. So I'm just moving things around, hold it, drag it and drop it, click on done, and now you'll be able to see icons easily accessible. Now there are several ways you can access your apps. You can have little shortcuts, you can use the swiping up method and there are all your apps there, or you can do this. Swipe down, go to your settings, choose display, choose the home screen and at the very top choose home screen layout and now you have the options to either have the home screen and the apps or just the home screen only click ok and then it will apply those settings so your apps now are available without having to swipe up the samsung galaxy s9 and the s9 plus are great devices to view videos on but let me show you a nice cool little trick Go to your settings, type video, and there's an option there called Video Enhancer. Click on that and switch that to on. And that really optimizes a nice viewing vivid colors when you view your next video. So now that we have a great viewing experience, let's have a great sound experience too. Click on your settings, choose sound and vibration, scroll down until you see sound quality and effects, click on that, and switch on the Dolby Atmos. Now that's going to give you a much better quality sound. You can even play with your equalizer if you want to set more bass, more treble, if you know what you're doing here. Or click right down to the bottom and you have an option there called Adapt Sound. Now this is going to customize the sound experience for you. There's a little wizard tell you how old you are, left ear, right ear, etc. Go to that wizard and the phone will be set up for your hearing pleasure. Right, if you're a gamer, click on the settings, type the word games, and this time access a launcher option. When you do, enable the game launcher to on, and that adds a launcher onto your home screen. Here is mine, click on game launcher, 
and here are all my games are collected into one location. Right, go to the bottom, you see performance. Normal performance, you can change it to saving power if you're running out of juice, or to high power if you really want to go hard on your games. On the Galaxy S9, if you want to keep something private and confidential, you can do that. Click on your settings, go to your lock screen, and then choose an option there called Secure Folder. Here you can set up a location where your apps and files are actually secure, so only you can see it when you can unlock just that particular folder. Did you know that the S9 has an ability to be a baby monitor and to tell you when the doorbells ring? Now you do. Go to Accessibility under your settings. Go to the top where it says Hearing. And they got sound detectors. Click on that. And there we go. Baby crying detector, doorbell detector. You can enable that. Follow the prompts by recording the sound. And next time the doorbell rings, Now, this is what your phone will look like. So that was it. Tech Tip Tuesday is done on the Galaxy S9. I hope you picked up some tips that you maybe you didn't already know. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And if you're new here, smash that subscribe button. Otherwise, watch some more Tech Tip Tuesdays. And I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers for now.